Hello friends. Welcome to the help videos of the feed for Google Shopping app by Simprosis. In this video, we are going to see how you can integrate your Facebook Business Manager account with our app using the Facebook Business extension. We all know how critical it is to market our products all across the digital world, and we can't ignore the importance of Facebook and its marketing partners when it comes to the digital world. The first step to become eligible for marketing or advertising products on Facebook is to submit product data feed in the form of product catalog to your Facebook Business Manager account that you may publish using our app feed for Google Shopping. To begin, we'll log into Shopify using the store owner account or any other Shopify account with admin level privileges. From the Shopify Shop Admin panel, open the Simprosis app. Next, go to the integrations from the main menu. The page displays all the currently active integrations along with the option to integrate Facebook product catalog. We will proceed by clicking on the Login with Facebook button, which prompts you to log in or continue with your presently signed in Facebook account. We will click on the Continue as Meal in Wagella button, as we are already logged into the correct Facebook account. The screen now shows all the permissions required to connect the app with Facebook, as well as a list of the permissions our app will have following the upgrade. Click the Continue button at the bottom right to accept the updated permissions and connect the shopping feed app to Facebook. Before proceeding ahead, please be informed that you need to have admin or manage permissions for all of the assets of your Facebook Business Manager account in order to use them to finish the integration. In order to verify the access level, please log into your Facebook Business Manager account and navigate to the People tab under the Users section. Please choose your Facebook profile name from the second sidebar, which displays all the assigned assets in this section. The access level can be checked by clicking on the downward arrow on the right beside each Assets tab. If the Manage permission is enabled at the end of the drop-down menu, then that particular asset can be used. As we see, we do have Manage permissions for all the assets, so we are all good to go. Now let's go back to the integration process. Once the connection is established, we will be redirected to the Confirm Settings screen, that will list down all the assets linked with the default Facebook Business Manager account. Here, we need to check to see if the assets it has chosen are right or if they need to be modified. It has currently picked random assets and a Business Manager account, therefore we will have to change them one by one. Here we will first need to choose the correct Facebook Business Manager account. We will start with selecting a Facebook Business Manager account. The moment we click on Business Manager, it lists down all Business Manager accounts for which we have employee level or admin level access. If someone hasn't created a Business Manager account and hasn't reached the maximum limit for creating a Business Manager account set by Facebook, we may create a new Business Manager account by clicking the Create New link. For the time being, we will scroll down to the Royal 3108 account select it, and click continue to proceed ahead with the integration process. The Connect Facebook page is now displayed. Here, we choose the Royal 3108 page which is shown at the top. On a side note, like Business Manager account, we can also create a new Facebook page by clicking the Create New link, if needed. We are also prompted to connect our Instagram account but this is optional, hence we will skip it for the time being. If you have an Instagram business account and want to promote your products on Instagram's platform, choose and integrate your Instagram account. This way, the same product catalog may get utilized for shopping ads or product tagging on Instagram. Proceeding further we need to choose the product catalog to which the app should submit the product data feed. As we can see that, only one catalog is available to select, but this is not the one we are looking for. So in a case like this, if you are not seeing any catalog, then you might have still not created any catalog in your Facebook Business Manager account. 
But if you see the catalog which you might want to use, but Facebook is showing it as grayed out for selection, then there are typically two possibilities. Either you do not have the admin or manage permission particularly for that catalog. Or this might be the case where that catalog is already being used by other app or data source for data feed submission. In this use case, we are using the create new option to create a fresh catalog for feed submission. Before creating a new catalog, let's check the Facebook Business Manager account. Let's navigate to the Catalogs tab under the Data Sources section. We can clearly see that we haven't created any catalog under this Business Manager account, therefore we're going to start from scratch. In order to create a new catalog, we will be modifying the name of the catalog to Royal 3108 and click on the Continue button. As a result the new catalog is created, which is already selected, thus we will be proceeding further by clicking on Continue. If we check the Catalogs section in the Facebook Business Manager account, now, we will be able to see the Royal 3108 catalog here. To proceed further, we will need to choose the Add account for our store. We are now required to choose the Facebook pixel, so that it can be used for standard website event and conversion tracking. As it is visible, we just need to select the Royal 3108 pixel which is already created and is available to be used for tracking. At the later part of this video, we will also walk you through how you can enable event and conversion tracking with the help of Conversions API. When we proceed further, after selecting the Facebook pixel, we'll notice that we've now picked all of the right assets for the Facebook integration. Finally, we are given an option to choose the automatic advanced matching feature, to choose which customer's information you would like to use for customer matching and targeting. Expand the show customer information parameters to see the options available to choose from. Move forward with all these options enabled for automatic advanced matching. However, you may turn off any toggle switch that you don't want to use or that is prohibited as per the rules and regulations of your target country or region. Subsequently, it displays the list of the permissions our app will have after this upgrade. If any of the required permissions is denied then the app might not work properly. Thus, please approve the requested permissions and click on the next button. We're all set now, and the integration process has been completed successfully. Once it is done, we will be redirected to the Manage Products page in the Simprosis app. It is also displaying the success message for Facebook Business Manager integration. We are also able to see that products are under pending status for Facebook, which will usually take 20 to 30 minutes to be submitted. Now if we check the catalog in the Commerce Manager account, we will be able to see products under the Items section. We can see that Total 26 items with 142 variants are being submitted under this catalog, which exactly matches with the product count submitted from our app. Overview of Conversions API The Conversions API is designed to bridge a direct connection between your Shopify server's marketing data, such as website events and offline conversions, to Facebook. This marketing data enables Facebook ad personalization, optimization, and measurement, ensuring that your ads are shown to people who are more likely to be interested in them. The Facebook Pixel aids in the tracking of browser-level standard website events, such as viewing a product page, adding a product to the shopping cart, or placing an order. While the Conversions API will supplement Facebook with your Shopify store's online and offline conversions data or events that could not be captured by Facebook Pixel due to tracking restrictions imposed with the launch of Apple's iOS 14 or due to any connectivity issues or ad blockers. So it is strongly recommended to enable and use the Conversions API in addition to the Facebook Pixel tracking for maximizing your website's event tracking capabilities. So let's see how you can upgrade the app in a few clicks to enable Conversions API feature. To begin, we need to hover over the Tracking Tags menu to see and select the Facebook Pixel Event Tracking Setup option. On the following page, 
It shows event tracking and automatic advanced matching sections with active status, as they were enabled when we completed the integration process using Facebook Business Extension. Finally, there is a section for Facebook Conversions API, Server Site API, which includes the Upgrade App button. Please click on the Upgrade App button. Please note, you must log into Shopify using the store owner account or any other Shopify account with admin level privileges in order to upgrade the app. These privilege levels are required to upgrade your Simprosis app's permissions successfully. That will take you to a Shopify's permissions upgrade page, which lists the details of the permissions that our app will have following the upgrade. The only new permission is for view orders, which is required for the app to read orders data from Shopify. Click the Update App button at the bottom right to accept the updated permissions. Once done, you'll be redirected to the Facebook Pixel event tracking setup page in the app and will display a prompt to enable Facebook Conversions API feature. As soon as we toggle the switch, it asks us to choose Tracking Level for Conversions API. There are two levels of tracking. First is Basic which allows you to track and submit only basic information such as IP addresses, browser name, order currency, order total value, order number, product IDs, etc. The second option is advanced level, which will track and submit personally identifiable information of the customers such as their name, email ID and phone number in addition to basic order details tracked by first option. So you are requested to select the tracking level, as per your requirements along with rules and regulations in effect in your target country or region. It is also critical to include these data sharing information in the store's privacy policy. For the time being, we are selecting advanced tracking level and clicking on the save button to complete the conversions API setup procedure. With this, we have completed the Facebook Business Manager integration, as well as event tracking and conversion tracking setup using Facebook Pixel and Conversions API. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing. See you again in another video.